Welcome back to the junk room, everybody. It's me, the junk man, coming back for a nooner. That's right. It's time for a nooner. This is kind of where I'm merging the five o'clock and the nooners together now. Uh, I'm not sure if five's going to come back, but we'll see. So this is one uh, shorter video that I never really felt I had enough information for a long video. So we're going to talk about the Craft Masters figurines. I hate that word, Star Wars figurines, but it fits in this case. I hate when people refer to action figures as figurines. I even hate saying the word. But these were, I don't know, maybe ceramic. They were like little models and you had to paint them yourself. Again, they were made by Craft Masters, who was a division of Parker Brothers who, as you probably know, was owned by Kenner. Now, sadly, there was none released for Star Wars, or what you new kids call Star Wars A New Hope, but we just called it Star Wars. So they didn't have any uh, release for Star Wars. We didn't get any until Empire Strikes Back, so we're going to look at all the ones from Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, yep, and even the prequels. Let's start with the Empire Strikes Back. And we'll start with probably the one people wanted the least, Princess Leia. Hey, nothing against Princess Leia, but if you were a boy growing up in the 80s after seeing Empire Strikes Back, I really doubt well, this would be the first one you would pick off the shelf. This is the Empire Strikes Back figurine, and it says the set contains one molded vinyl figure. So they're vinyl figures. There, I answered my own question. Four fast-drying acrylic paints, a brush, and instructions. Now, if you look at the Princess Leia figure... I don't know, the face looks a little odd to me, but that's Princess Leia. Comes with four different colors of paint. Now, I did have two of these, but that's not the one I had. So, let's move on to another one. Here's the Luke Skywalker, and he's riding on a Tauntaun. And it comes again with four different colors of paint. This one I always felt was kind of a ripoff. I mean, if I wanted Luke Skywalker, why not a Bespin with his lightsaber? Who wouldn't want to paint a lightsaber? The Tauntaun's cool and all that. But I wish they at least made a different Luke also, not just this one here with him on a ton time. Kids today, they scream for baby Yoda. Back in the 80s, we screamed for adult Yoda. Yep, they made one of him also. You're going to need a lot of green paint. Well, maybe a lot of brown also. But you got four different colors and you got Yoda standing on some kind of rock, holding his cane, and looking really, really cute. Probably cuter than he does in the movie. And you can see someone bought this one at Toys Us for $3.97. Now, I told you I had two from Empire Strikes Back, and here's one of them. Of course, it's Han Solo. Comes with four different colors of paint. I see blue in there and yellow. I guess that's flesh tone. I'm not really sure. But there's Han Solo. And it looks like he might be leaning against a Christmas tree, but I know he's not. And what was the other one I had? Come on, do you have to ask? Really, you know which one I had. Here it is, the Empire Strikes Back figurine, Craftmasters Boba Fett. I wish I could find the one I had as a kid, because it looks nothing like this one that someone painted. Mine was horrible. I mean, horrible. I can still picture it in my head, and man, I wish I could show y'all. It was probably the ugliest thing you've ever seen in your whole life. It looked like I opened the little paint jars, poured each one in my hand, and just threw it at my Boba Fett. And for some reason, there was no paint on the back of it. I guess I was like, hey, I'm going to set up in my room. No one's going to see the back, so I'm not wasting my time. It looked horrible. Now, those are the ones from The Empire Strikes Back. Let's look at Return of the Jedi. Here's Admiral Akbar standing in front of some kind of, I don't know what that is, some kind of podium. Looks like he's at church. The thing about this Return of the Jedi one, it glows in the dark. Hey, that's extra cool. The set contains one molded vinyl figure. I really hope it does. I mean, it'd be kind of rip off if it didn't come with the figure. Three paints, one glow in the dark paint, brush, and instructions. I'm, number four, the paint's the one that glow in the dark, but I can't see where it goes on the figure. What do you paint? It's kind of a green color, and nothing on the painted figure is green. I don't really know. I'm surprised they didn't make this in the Empire line 3PO and R2. For some reason, I couldn't find a photo of this on the card, so I had to show you a picture of it loose. Here's 3PO and R2. A lot of toys like to put these together back then. Would have been nice to have them separate. Because it just means you got a lot more painting to do. Although 3PO is probably kind of boring to paint. I mean, it's all gold. And you can't do Return of the Jedi without doing Ewoks. And if it's an Ewok, it's got to be wicked. And here's one that looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Looks more like a dog turd. It comes with four different paint, but three of them look like different shades of brown. And they glow in the dark again. 
Again, I see nothing that glows in the dark. So after Empire, after Jedi, we didn't get a figurine to paint for years later. Not until the prequel when we got a couple more. Here's Darth Maul. No one's not going to be that fun to paint. I mean, the whole figure, except for the face, is black, so that's not going to be a lot of fun. And I don't know about you, but there's no way I could paint the design on that face. I'm sure it has little grooves to make it easier, but it wouldn't have been easier for me. Well, at least they gave us a bad guy. Did you notice that from the Empire and Return of the Jedi line? There was no Darth Vader. There were no Stormtroopers. There was nothing. They gave us no bad guys, unless you count Boba Fett as a bad guy. But I never saw Boba Fett as a good guy or a bad guy. Well, let's continue with The Final Menace and look at a good guy. Obi-Wan Kenobi. I don't know about this pose. I'm guessing it holds a lightsaber to make it look a little better. It just looks really odd. And he doesn't have his brown robes, I guess, if it's going by the picture on the box. So it looks like another one that's going to be kind of boring to paint. All one color, except for the hair and the skin. Well, if you got Obi-Wan, you got to have his BFF. Here he is, Qui-Gon Jinn. It looks like he's bald-headed. But I guess that ponytail was just pulled back really tight. Someone bought this at KB on clearance for $1.99. Still sounds kind of high if you ask me. At least according to the package, he has the brown robe. So you can paint the robe brown and then the inside of the robe kind of the white color. And of course you got to paint his hair and everything. Nah, I'm not dogging on the prequels or anything. They just don't look as fun to paint as the Empire and Return of the Jedi ones. But... I mean, Phantom Menace is okay, let's be honest. But man, there was a lot of Phantom Menace merchandise out there, wasn't there? Anyway, that's a look at Craftmate and I guess Hasbro's figurines that you had to paint. Did you have any of these? Did you paint them good or were you horrible like I did? Now, I did have Han Solo, but I didn't mention how I painted it. That's because I don't remember. I can remember having it, but I can't remember even painting it. So I don't know how it turned out. But God, that both of that one was awful. <sighs> Wish I had a time machine so I could go back and smash it. Well, I guess that's about it. Let me know if you had any of these, or if not, you'll say, hey, I wish I did have these as a kid. But we'll be back at 8 o'clock tonight. That's uh, January the 5th, if you're watching this on the day we upload, because it's Boba Fett Day. We're going to talk live, Chapter 2 of Boba Fett, live stream on this channel. So make sure you come back 8 o'clock Eastern, because on Wednesday nights, we go live to recap the book of Boba Fett. It's going to be a lot of fun. Come and join us. Well, that's it. And like I always say, thumb up on your like my content. Subscribe to the channel. We'll talk again soon. Hey, jump <laughs> man, channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>